mid lane in Lulu. Yeah, and Lulu going to be able to keep Wuxian a little bit safer in these fights here as well with that wild growth. Ebb and Flow going to be working from Liam here as well. One of the best sort of aug augmentative three in the bottom lane at about three minutes. Yeah, and that's going to be MLXG easily coming in with the counter gank here as well, but that's Zenith's way to come down. The double bubble here as well as Wuxian's coming in. The double teleports at the same time. The longest auto attack in history for first blood for Wuxian as Let Me Now is getting aggressed on. At this point in the game, pretty wow. Oh, Cataclysm just straight on top of Assassin there in the mid. Wild Growth is still available. There's the, the ultimate coming down from Jahu. It's a nice double bubble, but not enough. And Assassin is dead. Yeah, so we spoke of going for the trade here, trying to pick up that mid turret, but the teleport to come through. Solar Flare onto Wuxian here as well. Oh my gosh, that stand aside, stand aside was godlike as Danger comes through with the Cataclysm. Doesn't catch anyone, let me. Right in the middle of the fight, an assassin gonna get melted. Wuxian trying to kite now. That Bloodthirst is doing a lot of work. Flashes out of the way, but Sync Dream catches up. The heel has to be blown. That flash into the Twisted Advance and Tail picks up the kill and Gam they're doing They're doing exactly that. The teleports come down, but Sky gets immediately locked down. Look at the ults coming on top of that Aurelia. The Wild Growth is going to be beautiful though. King, they're trying to turn it around. Sky has to get out. The Empress Divide destroys Wuxian on the backside though and Danger stabs Sky in the head. GT again looking fantastic. MLXG, he does manage to take down Tail, but the Flash and there's the Q and the E. Zhao who Finishes off MLXG, 4-0 and 3. He's the carry this time as Assassin tried to come round from the backside, but Let Me and Sync Dream have discovered him, and the Birdman is approaching. This guy is so scary. Glitter Lance, Assassin's just being really annoying now on this Lulu. But this is once again Gamti, I guess, prioritizing the kill. There wasn't really an objective to push, and in the end it means that I think that was an ace for one kill damage that he insta-kills them because it honestly looked like their body was destroyed as Lamb. Yeah, he's dead. He's yeah, real dead. Speaking of bodies that were getting destroyed, under siege, Gamti just rotating around the map. They're going again. Yeah, Sky actually gets engaged on here as well. Sync Dream right in amongst that fight. A beautiful tidal wave across everyone tries to disengage this one as King now. They're turning around. They're trying to make it work. Jao, who off the backside? MLXG was there for a sec, but he took a ride and he is now definitely dead. Sky still trying to go deep, but Jahu is so much consistent damage. The double bubble to come in. Gamti are getting very low. Wuxian cashes in some stacks here as Jahu, he's still got his Zonyas. He can still be a threat as that was a huge twisted advance. He's going to pay for it with his life. Jahu now going low. Gamti, they may have kept going for a little bit too long here in this fight. Wuxian has a lot of damage. Flashing forward. Another kill. Sync Dream is now the focus and Wuxian with the triple in the end. Turn it around for the end. That's bad news because with a Leona rolled over the wall, they're nice and clumped. Oh my gosh, there's the Soul of the Cataclysm as well. It's a nice tidal wave to try and stop this one out, but Wuxian, he's way in the front line and he's gonna die straight up. Got it. Well, they're gonna try and do something here as Sky's around to the side. MLXD not able to get the steal and he's most definitely dead. And Sky and the rest, the enemy support uncomfortable. The inhibitor turret's gonna go down. Gamti, they're gonna start this fight up. Let me, oh my god, he was dead for a second, was lame. And Wuxian, that solar flare was godlike. And look at the damage from this corky Azir. Sky trying some fancy footwork to get out the backside and Danger diving very deep. But King have been torn to shreds and this bottom lane has been punished for that early lead over and over again. Yeah, they certainly have, and it looks like they want to continue to try and push in, and the problem with the flank coming through from Nidalee means that they're not grouped as five, and the force is just too easy. They're looking to close the game out. The Nexus turrets are falling down now. Gamti putting a clinic on this series as they take their first 2-0 in the LPL in such emphatic fashion. Xiaohu says see you later to MLXG and Gamti.